everyone welcome to my channel today I want to share a project which was created for the graphic 45 design team and it's a travel mini album which is also music related I used for creating it the 5 by 5 inches uh, mixed-media box of a black color I covered it with paper and what it basically is it's a um, it's a player which actually looks like a player it looks like a player outside with the headphones and um, inside the player there is a mini album which looks like a, a CD holder so I will be showing you um, everything once again in a minute uh, I just want to say that uh, I will have that tutorial which follows this presentation for creating a page uh, of the uh, mini album and um, as far as the video for creating the headphones is concerned I will be posting it later not today uh, because I need to uh, work on uh, I need to make some video editing um, but I will post um, the process the video process of uh, creating the headphones so if you want to make this project you will be able to complete it um, including the headphones um, but the tutorial will be available at a later stage so uh, let's look at it once again as I told you the base is nothing else than a um, 5x5 mixed media box I didn't do anything um, with the box it stayed exactly the same way as it was I only covered it with paper and added uh, here a piece of acetate um, so that I would be able to glue uh, inside the window um, the names of the cities and the kind of play button uh, here in the middle um, I also added uh, tiny wooden spools with uh, I don't know if you can see that but these on top are glass uh, cabochons and um, I wanted to achieve uh, some kind of buttons effect here so um, all of the panels all of the sides of the box are covered with designer paper from the graphic 45 uh, cityscapes collection and here on the sides I created the um, the holders for the headphones I created them using the um, Tim Holtz uh, movers and shapers uh, circle die and I cut the chipboard uh, several times I think seven seven times to um, achieve that uh, depth and um, dimension of the holders and uh, I also painted them with uh, black acrylic paint and in order um, to uh, really hold the headphones on the place I uh, added a little magnet here on top and there is also a magnet inside the um, inside each uh, of the headphones um, uh, parts so um, they are not covered with paper because uh, this was a solution that I came up with um, really late after everything was covered with the designer paper so um, if you will be making this um, this project for yourself just pay attention that the magnet should be added um, behind the top um, layer of the designer paper so let's look at this once again here is the lid which flips open and this is how it looks on the um, on the inside the mini album is designed to fit perfectly inside uh, this box and I didn't cover it with paper from the inside but you are welcome to do that if you want um, the size of the album will allow that so the mini album is uh, four and a half inches by four and a half it's a square one the spine is uh, one and seven eighths of an inch and I also uh, created a disc for uh, the front cover 
in order to create the uh, um, metal um, look here on the edge I've used uh, some Inca gold paint of the ice blue color if you are familiar with the box you know that uh, inside it has six uh, tags plain tags of a black color they are really firm and uh, heavyweight uh, cardstock so I used those for creating them for cutting out the base of the discs which are inside the mini album the mini album has six pages and each one of the pages has an additional uh, photo mat or um, um, pull out tag just whatever you want to call it so um, the pages as far as you can see are designed uh, to resemble the CD uh, sleeves CD holders so um, every CD can be pulled out and it's really really cute and as a matter of fact small they're three and three quarters of an inch in diameter so um, they look really cute and I guess that you could use those uh, from the back you could journal and add some notes if you want because the front part of the disc is um, is decorative um, is fully decorative it cannot be used for placing photos um, unless these are really tiny photos and you want to add them uh, here on the sides uh, anyway there is a little pocket here uh, on the front cover on the inside of the front cover and each page um, is built in the following way on the front side of the page there is uh, the CD sleeve and uh, there is a place for um, the pull-out uh, photo mat um, inside the page and here it's plain because we still need to uh, leave some room for uh, the pictures that you want to put there so um, on the photo mat there is a side a corner uh, pocket which can be used for um, tucking the pictures that you don't want to glue and um, on the front uh, of the photo mat um, I've added uh, decorations using the uh, chipboard tags and uh, also um, tags and envelopes from the same uh, Cityscapes collection so uh, let's flip through really really quickly through the album and then uh, you will be able to uh, watch the tutorial which is really uh, not an elaborate one because we um, we were asked to create once in a while um, easy tutorials so that you graphic 45 fans um, even if you are only uh, beginning your way in scrapbooking could uh, create the um, the projects with the, uh, the same products and uh, not to encounter uh, encounter any difficulties on your way so um, here is the next uh, photo mat the tag may be pulled out and it's one of the uh, cards from the ephemera uh, cards collection which uh, goes with the cityscapes collection I've used the Tim Holtz uh, die to cut out the plane here is the third page I created a little shaker here these are some sequins behind and it's um, a bit dimensional in order uh, to let the sequins uh, move there inside uh, so as you can see there uh, is once again a corner pocket pocket here uh, this is the fourth page uh, I once again used uh, several of the envelopes from the paper collection and added the uh, one of the banners here on the front page I really loved uh, using the um, tracing paper it's not vellum it's tracing paper I just didn't have a uh, vellum at the moment when I was creating that but I think um, tracing paper is good enough for this project uh, as well as vellum uh, anyway this is the next let me see yeah 
this is the next um, pull-out photo mat, which uh, once again includes the pocket from the tracing paper. I've added uh, some minor embellishments here on top and um, cut out another uh, tag from the ephemera cards, ADC cards, and added a tiny key from the ornate metal keys by Graphic 45. So this is the last uh, city and uh, the last page and the last photo mat and the last page and this is the fun mini album uh, which goes inside the box. Now just really quickly let's look at the headphones. They were created completely from scratch out of chipboard and some cardstock here. I've added um, uh, little D-rings here on the sides and used uh, some brads in order to uh, connect uh, this uh, strap of cardstock paper uh, which uh, resembles uh, leather uh, here on top. I've used uh, some leather, uh, faux leather straps in order to cover the sides of the headphones and uh, the pillows uh, come from a very old pair of headphones that were uh, about to be thrown away so uh, it was just about time to leave something from them and use uh, on another project so that actually gave them um, the second life this project really revived them so um, this is how they look like they're very uh, light and um, for that reason, I needed those magnets uh, so that they could be held uh, in place on top of the player. Let's move to the uh, to the part of the uh, tutorial for uh, creating a page from the mini album. The uh, the measurements will be posted um, on my blog as well as on the uh, Graphic Forty Five blog. So just uh, follow the link. Uh, which appears in the description box down below in this video in order to uh, to see the uh, dimensions and uh, the measurements for creating the hidden hinge binding and the covers and the pages of the mini album. So thank you very much for watching and uh, enjoy the tutorial. I want to show you one of the possible uses of the mixed media, um, in my case black box from Graphic 45. They come in several uh, colors. Um, you can also get it in ivory color and in craft. Today I'm using one of the black color, as I previously mentioned, and I thought that I will create a CD player or MP3 player. And uh, to the inside of the box, I will add a um, CD holder, which will be a mini album as well um, but the pages will look like the sleeves of the uh, CD discs. This is just an idea and I really hope it will inspire you and you will want to create one for yourself. So I will show you how I created the pages for the mini album and I also want to give you the measurements for creating a mini album which will perfectly fit inside the mixed media box. As you can see it fits just perfectly and there is a um, gap of maybe one eighth of an inch from each of the four sides. So um, I created the cover using the medium weight chipboard and the sizes of the covers are four and a half inches by four and a half and the spine is four and a half inches by one and three quarters. I already added the um, paper, I already matted the cover and the spine. I also created one of the CD discs for the front cover of the album. So here I used the um, label creator to add the so-called uh, name of the CD collection that uh, will be inside the album. I called it CD Sounds Collection because the 
paper collection that I'm using is called the Cityscapes and I think it fits perfectly for the uh, travel themed uh, mini albums so um, this is how all is connected together in my project uh, anyway I've also covered the um, sides of the mixed media box with the uh, paper from the same collection uh, I covered the sides and the um, the top this will be the top of my uh, CD player slash CD case I covered the bottom I still haven't covered the back side I will do it later this is just a minor thing to do so um, I also added a piece of um, a piece of acetate here uh, to the to the back side of the cover before adding the uh, designer paper from the um, from the inner side of the lid and this was made in order to allow placing the um, symbol of uh, a play uh, button uh, here in the middle I hope that makes sense uh, anyway this is the box this is why uh, this is what I've made it with it so far and this is the cover of the future uh, CD case that will go inside the box so let's move to the um, process of creating a page for uh, each one of the pages will be a pocket page and um, as you can see I already assembled one here it looks like a like a sleeve and for creating the pages which are uh, six in number uh, here in this album you will need uh, six pieces of black cardstock and the black cardstock should measure eight and seven eighths of an inch by four and a quarter so you will cut six pieces of black cardstock of the stated uh, size so, uh, once you prepare the uh, black cardstock on the long side you score it at four and a quarter and eight and a half of an inch this will leave you a, um, a tab an additional tab which is three eighths of an inch so you will apply uh, score tape to that tab and uh, assemble your pocket page okay so uh, the mat that will go inside from here uh, is is four inches by seven and a half scored at three and three quarters which is the middle of this uh, piece of cardstock then um, you will need a piece of vellum or tracing paper to create the um, pocket for the city disc and the uh, tracing paper that I have here measures four and one eighth of an inch by four and one eighth of an inch for creating this um, cut out here I used the die from La La Land Crafts club kit uh, it's from if I'm not mistaken from February 2016 and the name of the die is band-aid I will post the link to the graphics um, of this kit in the description box down below as well so be sure to check it then um, what you do is the following you glue down the piece of um, tracing paper to your page be sure to place it to position it like this so that the opening will be on the side and I applied here um, score tape which is 1 8 of an inch in width I applied it on three sides because I need the fourth side um, to serve as an opening for uh, putting down the disc okay so I attach the pocket to the page 
like this. Okay, then this will be the first page, by the way. Then I flip it uh, to the back side and I'm ready to mat the to mat the page. I'm using um, once again one of the papers from the uh, Cityscapes collection and it depends uh, on the size of the borders that you want to leave on your page. I like to leave um, really narrow borders so this piece measures um, four and one eighth of an inch by four and one eighth, just as the um, tracing paper here on the second side was. Okay, so we can already glue it down. Then um, for the mat, I already prepared the papers as well. The piece of paper that I'm using here has this um, curved um, corner which is missing actually. That's because I used the 6x6 six six papers uh, for uh, cutting out the discs. I will show that to you in a second, but don't mind that this piece has a, a, a missing part here. This is not a problem because I decided to create the uh, corner pocket, something like this, which will hide the uh, missing part and um, will be quite useful in a mini album because you can um, actually tuck um, receipts or uh, tickets from your trip uh, just behind this pocket. So what you do first, if you... Um, made um, the cutouts for the discs in the way I did and you still want to use the paper uh, you will glue it down first okay and you will attach it to the to the page like this then before matting the other side of the photo mat, you will add the corner first, like this. This is really optional, it only depends on the way you use the paper for cutting down and and covering the pages of your album. So now to hide the flaps here, the tabs of the corner, I will cover it with the uh, additional paper piece from the other side. Okay, like this. And this is basically the, the page. It's almost ready. Okay, and what is left to do is to really make it look interesting and to place the city inside. So for creating the cities, I used the um, cards which were inside the mixed media box. And there were six of them. Uh, I have six pages in my album, so six of them uh, were really nice to have. What I did, I cut out a circle using, uh, once again, one of the dies uh, by La La Land Crafts. I will give you the link. And then I used another circle from uh, the same brand, but uh, another, another set to map the CD disc. To create the uh, metallic uh, edge here, I used the Inca Gold, and this is the color, ice blue. So I just dabbed my finger uh, in it and uh, went uh, on the 
edges of the future city. Once uh, two of the layers were glued down, I used one of the smallest um, circle uh, dies from La La Land Crafts to cut out the um, hole here in the middle. I just was eyeballing it. So um, now I want to cover it with the foiled uh, ring. And for creating a ring, I used um, just a piece of black cardstock and foil tape. By the way, the smallest uh, die that I used for cutting out the uh, hole in the middle here. Okay, so um, now we have to add the ring here, as I already mentioned. I'll show you how to create a perfect um, centers for your discs. So this is a piece of foil. I already uh, removed the backing. Okay, I stick it down to the cardstock and I burnish on top. Now I cut out the hole first with a half an inch circle punch and then I use one more uh, three and a quarter inch circle punch to punch out a perfect ring. This is what you get. Okay, so you will need six of those for the discs which will go inside the album pages and you will need one more for uh, the disc on the cover if you really plan to place a disc here as well. So, okay, so once the disc is ready, you will just add that foiled ring to the center. like this okay and then I wanted to use the barcodes and the uh, names of the papers from this collection in order to add some interest to the disc and make it look like a real disc so I cut out the barcodes and I will glue them down. I will glue it down here. To the disc. And the name of the paper. As if it's the maybe name of the disc. I will glue at the top. And then I will add also another cutout from the uh, paper collection with the name of the city to the disc in order to add some contrast and additional interest as well. Okay, so this is the disc looks really really nice guys if you create um if you want to create this project you will understand what i'm talking about this this is really nice i'm telling you so you put it in the pocket and when you want to take it out the cutout that we created makes it really easy to do so just like in a real album with the cities okay so this is the page and what you can do now is you can maybe add some embellishments to the flaps to the pages themselves just whatever you prefer it's uh, entirely um, is something that depends on you I already created a certain embellishments uh, cl cluster here I will um, glue down now I created here a pocket using once again piece of tracing paper and some scraps of papers 
uh, from the same collection that I'm working with. I added one of the chipboard uh, tags here on top and I folded and glued down one of the envelopes from the paper collection. So I just want to put that inside the pocket. Okay, so this will be one of my pages. This is how you do each one of the six pages for your mini album. I already finished all of the six pages and look how gorgeous these cities look like a real like the real ones you have to try have to try to do this uh, so once your uh, pages are done you are ready to glue the pages inside your uh, mini album cover so you can just um, decide what what will be the um, order of the pages um, from the point of view of um, the colors of the designer papers that you've used, how you want them to um, to go, which one after which, and so on. Let me just see how I want it uh, to be, and then I will show you the finished mini album. Okay, so I will just be back in a second after gluing the pages to the album. I think I will start with this one. Okay, so when you glue it down, when you uh, when you attach it to the album spine, it's of course better to take out the photo mat that you have. And then you just begin. By the way, uh, there are measurements of the uh, paper that you will need for uh, creating the hidden hinge binding for your album and you will be able to find the measurements either on the graphic 45 blog or on my blog both of the links will be in the description box down below go and by the way I was inspired uh, to create this project uh, by the simple fact that my husband travels a lot on business and he had been to so many places in the world and he doesn't have a lot of pictures from all of those cities so uh, just maybe four or five pictures from each of the places he doesn't have time to take pictures He's working, so that's the reason uh, for the uh, low amount of pictures. So this album is just um, perfect for uh, organizing um, the, some of the pictures from some of the trips and um, organizing them in a creative and a unique way. So this is my album with all the six pages. Um, I will show you all of the pages. Um, I think you will be you will see it in the beginning of this video because I will uh, make kind of an introduction. So you will see all of them, uh, or you know what's. I will show you now um, each one of the pages and how I embellished them. These two are envelopes from the paper collection. They're really, really cute. I've added a chipboard piece here to prevent the envelope from falling out of the 
uh, tracing paper belly band that I created here. I've also added one of the uh, elements from the envelopes and tags. This is the next page. I've created a tiny, tiny, tiny shaker here. I don't know why, but this um, this picture <laughs> really asks to create a shaker and place it uh, behind the piece of acetate. So this is the second page, the third page, and of course each one of the discs can be taken out and you can journal here from the back side of the disc. Okay, so this is the embellishments. These are the embellishments that I've added here. Once again, there is a pocket from uh, the tracing paper and it's really nice because it doesn't hide the beauty of the paper itself that I used as the base of the page. So um, this is one of the tags from the ephemera cards and I've added a, a tiny piece uh, by Graphic 45 uh, as well, ornate, ornate metal keys. This is how uh, the item is called. You can find it in the Graphic 45 store. The next is this page and this is the one that I've created together with you. So the pocket and the envelope. And the next page with one more tag and a chipboard uh, tag from the collection. And the car is a die from uh, Tim Holtz, Movers and Shapers. I've also added the uh, name of one of the papers here with a code uh, to the car as if the car is going really on a grand on a grand tour. And the last page is this, uh, also with a tag and an, uh, and an airplane on it. I left my heart in, I've added a punched out heart heart here and this is also a belly band and this is um, cut out from the uh, tags and pockets from the paper collection as if the plane is flying just above the city here okay so this is the last photo mat and uh, what I also plan to do I still haven't decided but I might want to add these uh, tiny spools as buttons on the player. I don't know, my player will be of a square shape. Anyway, they will be here on top and um, this is the project. So I hope you find it inspiring and if you do something of the kind please share in the graphic 45 group um, and on Instagram and in any other uh, way that you want to share it with the world so that's it guys thanks for watching and see you in the upcoming tutorials bye bye